Well, hello, my loves, and happy Sunday to you. Um, I hope that by the time you see this, it'll be after Thanksgiving. Um, and if you celebrate or how you celebrate, I hope it was good. And I hope that it was filled with um, people that you love. All right, so um, a couple things. Actually, just one thing, I think. Um, you will have one, by the time you see this, one more day for the Black Friday sale. That's um, prints, prints on woods, digital prints, collage packs, um, cards, originals, and I think that is it. Okay, um, so one more day for the Black Friday sale and the coupon code, codes, code, will be down below in the YouTube description box along with the links to all the different places. Um, and again, if you are a subscriber to my email list, um, you have a different code because you get more of a discount. So um, keep that in mind. If you're not a subscriber, you get bigger things and more things in the email than just the regular, I guess, I don't know. So, okay, <clears throat> that's that. Um, so, uh, I want to go over what I have done so far. I can't wait. I hope it turns out the way that I have it going in my head. We'll see. Um, cause I had a totally different project planned and we'll get, I'll, I'll talk about that in just a second, but let's talk about what I've done so far. So here is my 12 by 12 MDF board and <clears throat> I know, I'm hoping that you can, look at that. Look at that texture. So, so good. Okay, so what I did so far is I put down <clears throat> with, I put down a regular coat of gesso first. And then I came back with my Nova Color gesso, or not Nova Color, Utrecht gesso, which is really thick gesso. And I brushed it on with a nice wide thick brush. Then I came back with a nice wide flat palette knife and kind of troweled over everything. And I was drying and troweling. And then I, you know, I continued to do that a couple of times. And then I came back with my dough scraper and used it like a trowel basically and laid it real flat and, um, you know, really kind of smoothed across it. I wanted to go for kind of like a stucco kind of finish or a really rough plaster finish, something like that. Um, so, and I, and I dried and continued to kind of work this as I was drying and the more dry it got, the greater. It, it was just so good to see it kind of just really, because, you know, I, I kind of pulled up a lot of the other layers. So that first layer of gesso is kind of showing through. And so, um, and I put that first layer of gesso down and didn't wait for it to dry. I went back over it because I wanted this to be really, really thick and yummy. So I put that first layer down with the brush and then came back with the trowel and troweled over it. And I just really wanted it to be nice and thick. And so uh, I can't wait to get paint on there. And then I'm going to be using, um, I'm, this is going to be a very neutral palette, how I see it. Um, you know, it can always change, but I'll be using um, some Nova Color Payne's Gray. I will be using some raw umber, some gesso, and I'll, I'll have some gray, like gray tones. I get some really good gray tones with this. And I may even use a little bit of ye <clears throat> yellow ochre. Uh, let's see, do I have yellow ochre out here? I do not. Oh, maybe even a, some sienna. I just saw this. That might be that might be a good kind of warm. I just want a little bit of warm in there, I think. I think. We'll see. And I really want, I'm just going to do a lots of rubs and kind of get all of that paint into the crevices. I'll probably use some ivory, um, 
so, and that's Pebeo Map Pub. Um, so that's kind of what I'm planning for the background. And then I'm going to be building up layers. <clears throat> and I have out, oh, and then I came back while this was drying. I came back and I, I made some collage papers, you know, because I don't have enough. Um, but it's always the case where I'm like, I don't have the right one. So then I got to, but it's okay. Because it it's fun and it starts the creative process. So I wanted a nice, like, textural background. And that's what I started with. I spilled my gesso all over the place. Uh, so I had to stop. Um, but I'm using Nova Color Gesso. Um, it's nice and thick. Really, really great gesso. Um, and so this is Nova Color Black Gesso. And I, I brayered this out. And then I used uh, my Just Lines Mask Stencil. I think that's or Angles Stencil. Um, and I stenciled out a, a, a couple of sheets of that. I just wanted, I really wanted just the, just the lines. Um, so I did that. And I'm working on deli paper. And then I had... Um, this piece of packing material, it had bulbs in it. And um, I was like, I'm not throwing that away. And look at look at how awesome that is. And so I wanted some kind of graphics for the background as well. So I kind of stamped with that. And then, let's see, what else did I do? That's pretty much it, I think. Oh, and I stamped I stamped some white over some of the black. This was the first black background that I did that did not go very well. Um, so, so that might get in there too. So this is going to be a very neutral uh, palette. So, uh, and all of this is on deli paper. So that's that. Um, this one's going to be kind of for my main focal point. And my main focal point is going to be the church. Um, I'm not exactly sure which one. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be this one. I think. I don't know. Everything changes. So, um, <clears throat> then, let's see. I have some collage, some other collage elements that are going to be happening here. I'm just creating this kind of abstract feel. Um, I have, I found this little scrap of goodness in my stash and it's got beauty love passage i'm like something in there would could work its way in i've got some um, pattern paper i've got i found this in my stash this ruler this might find its way in there i have a postcard out here postcards are always good and then i've got these other kind of neutral um kind of um papers that i have um Let's see, what else do I need to tell you? I think that's it. So I plan on kind of building this piece um, focused with, the, of course, the church. But I want the background to kind of really shine because it's so yummy. Um, and that is all I know right now. Um, yeah, okay. So that's where I'm at. And I have planned to do, a, like I have the little churches and then I have the big churches and I was going to do a big church, which I love to do, um, <clears throat> kind of rustic and kind of neutral, um, but I was going to make it a little bit more holiday and put some wreaths on the windows or doors or something like that, um, but it just didn't feel right. And um, I just... I, I'm really kind of working through some things and um, processing the events of the last month. Um, and um, I, I want to say to you that, and this is really all I have to say today, is that um, trust yourself when, um, when, you, when you're going to create, when you approach creating, trust your gut. Trust yourself. You might start out with an idea or you've seen somebody do something and it just doesn't feel right. Um, trust yourself because in this process of us creating, we can process so many things. And if you're feeling blue, paint blue. If you're feeling happy, 
paint bright colors. Trust yourself when you approach your table and your creative time and your creative space. Trust yourself because this place is more powerful than we know. Um, it is such a safe haven for us in a crazy, busy world where we can escape here, think through all of our things. Um, and the other thing is don't overthink it. Don't make it too complicated. Just show up for you. Show up for you. And let this be the place where you can let go, experiment, try packing material, um, anything. There's no limit. There's no rules. This is your space and your time. And so that's what happened to me this week as I was beginning. I had a, I mean, I had a planned. Um, I had a quote, I had the whole thing. And as I was prepping this week, it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel genuine. It didn't feel like where I was at. And I knew that I needed to do something different for me. And this has been, it's like, I feel um, a little bit of spring in my step because I'm excited about this. And I have been working through questions. I've been working through sadness. I've been working through so many things in this piece as I start to put the pieces together. Because when I put the piece together, any piece, I'm always thinking from a perspective of what is, what's the meaning of this? You know, it's a quote. It's something. There's some, always some. <clears throat> life perspective or meaning or something that, you know, comes into my work. And so today, man, it has just been um, sacred, the time that I've had to process things. And um, that's what this, that's what this is for. That's what our creative time is for. And if somebody else gets to enjoy it, blessings. That's all the better. But um, create for you. That'll change your work. It'll change your attitude. It will change everything. Create for you. And trust yourself. Trust yourself when you create. Allow this space to be just you and whatever you want to create. All right, my loves, that's what I am doing today. I'm allowing this time to nurture me, minister to me, give me some breathing space, and I'm just taking you along for the journey. All right, my loves, I hope your Sunday is restful and peaceful, and I hope that you always, always know that you are loved.